More than two years have passed since 30-year-old Calandra Stallworth went missing in Crestview. Investigators are still working her case. I feel that this one is solvable. I, have, I, I feel that, you know, whoever did this has talked to somebody and said something to somebody and that person needs to come forward. In mid-March, Stallworth reportedly dropped her two teenage daughters off at her mother's house next door on her way into work at the Hilton Sandestin Beach Resort. When she did not show back up from work, her family reported her missing. According to records, Stallworth walked into the Crestview Police Department on March 22nd, asking officers to cancel the missing person's report. That was the last day she was ever seen. Major Harp says Stallworth's boyfriend picked her up from work one day. Then the couple drove several different places places throughout the panhandle. After gone missing, police were able to track Stallworth down using the GPS on her cell phone until the battery died. That's a lot of area when you go between Destin to Crestview to Pensacola and to Crestview to Destin or back towards that area and then it, it quits. Uh, so that's a lot of area to try and track somebody down. You can't just go check every piece of woods or everything from here to there. When we looked at the pings, you can see times and stuff in there, but we never seen anything where one ping missed for a long period, you know, for several minutes or whatever. Stallworth was about five foot seven, weighing about 200 pounds. She's African American with brown hair and brown eyes. Her ears are pierced, and she has a tattoo on her left breast, spelling out the name of her boyfriend at the time, Antoine. Now the suspect in her case, according to Crestview Police. We've asked the public to come forward with stuff, and of course, uh, him being the boyfriend, him being the last one, whether he's always going to be the suspect until he's completely clear of that. But if anything is possible. Antoine Montrex Smith was her boyfriend for three years. At the time of her disappearance, Major Harp says he was seen with another woman. He was arrested for unrelated charges and has been behind bars since. Uh, he was arrested for other things at the time the boyfriend was, and I'm not sure. I think he's pretty close to getting out now. He's, he's been, been in prison. He's been in prison. So and he's probably about too close to time for him to be being released, and we'll probably revisit it at some point. In the meantime, we spoke with a close friend of Stallworth's, LaToya Antrell. She was amazing. Um, me and her were really, really close. Um, we talked every day. We were sisters, basically. Um, she was a sweet person. She would do anything for anybody, and she loved her girls more than anything. So her just leaving and not coming back to them is not an option. We need some type of closure. Hopefully she is alive, but if she isn't, we still need to know so that her girls can move forward without the hope and wishing that she can come back and not know anything. If you have any information regarding Calandra Stallworth's whereabouts, you're asked to contact the Crestview Police Department or Crime Stoppers. In Okaloosa County, Amber Spradley, News 13, Panhandle Strong.